Zircon Metalliscanner MT6 Special Testing Video. This video identifies the most common problems that users may have using the MT6, the probable causes, and the solutions for each. To successfully test and use the Zircon Metalliscanner MT6 electronic metal locator, please keep in mind that the most common applications are for avoiding rebar, cable, pipes, and other metal objects while core drilling concrete or penetrating concrete, or many other types of walls. General use. The MT6 will only locate metal objects. Non-metallic objects, such as wood studs or PVC pipes, cannot be located with this product, although it can be used to locate screws that are fastening drywall or a lath to the wood studs. MT6 general guidelines before scanning. Unless the user is very familiar with operating the MT6, it is highly recommended to read the instruction sheet before using the tool. Make sure to install a fresh, strong 9-volt battery. Do not operate two or more MT6 units within 4 meters of each other due to possible interference. Avoid wearing any jewelry, including watches, when using the MT6 and move large metal tools away from the target when feasible. Before scanning, wipe the area to be scanned clean of sand and pebbles. If scanning surface is still fairly rough or uneven, place a very thin piece of cardboard between the surface and the MT6. Allow the MT6 five to 10 minutes to acclimate to the temperature before operating if the MT6 has been moved to an area with a 10 degree Fahrenheit change or greater. Avoid placing steel toe boots too near the MT6 while scanning. Always turn off power when penetrating surfaces near electrical wires. Difficulty detecting metal accurately. If you have difficulty detecting a metal target accurately, the most common reason is that the unit has not been properly calibrated on the surface being scanned but away from any metal. Solution? Proper calibration may require pre-scanning and recalibrating the MT6 several times on the surface to find a spot with no metal or the smallest metal indication. That is the best place to recalibrate. If the ferrous non-ferrous indication seems incorrect, the unit has likely been calibrated too close to a metal object. Recalibrate away from metal in a location on the surface with no depth bars or the least amount of depth bars. If the unit indicates metal in locations other than where there is rebar or pipe, it could be finding scrap metal such as screws. When scanning around this object, it will be apparent that it is not a pipe or rebar and the object can be ignored. If the MT6 indicates metal almost everywhere, it could be high ambient metallic mineral content in the concrete. Recalibrate on the surface but away from all large metal objects to zero out the noise of metallic minerals. Recalibration in the right spot is super important for best accuracy. If the unit indicates metal almost everywhere in intervals much closer than a rebar grid, it may be that there is metal mesh. The MT6 cannot indicate targets beneath the metal mesh. Common questions and answers. What if the unit cannot differentiate between two or more objects that are near each other? The objects may indicate like one large metal object. The solution will depend on the application. If the user needs to core drill or penetrate concrete to place fasteners, he may simply avoid the location that has multiple metal targets. However, if he must penetrate the concrete in that area, this may be one case when he needs to hire an x-ray crew. What if the depth reading seems a little off? The depth readings are specifically optimized for half inch or 13 millimeter copper pipe or number four half inch rebar. For objects of different sizes, the depth indication may be off by up to 1.5 centimeters or approximately 5 eighths of an inch. However, in any case, the depth bars are always indicating relative depth with the most bars directly over the target. What if the beep does not happen right over the targets? When approaching a metal target, 
the most depth bars will show directly over the target. However, when the MT6 has passed the target, the plus sign will turn to minus and the tool will beep. Mark this spot on both sides of the target. The center of the target is in the middle between these two points. The deeper the target is, the further apart these two points will be. What if the MT6's tone and display does not return to normal? If the MT6 makes a long, low-pitched tone and the display does not return to normal, it is probably because a calibration error occurred. To solve this issue, reposition the MT6 and recalibrate the unit. Low battery indicator. If the low battery indicator is displayed on the screen, replace the battery as soon as practical to maintain the MT6's sensitivity. Additional help. For technical support and assistance, please contact us at 1-800-245-9265 between Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, or please email us at techsupport at zircon.com or visit Zircon's website at zircon.com.